WWE Network. As always, WWE Network is free for new subscribers. They battled at WrestleMania. The dream match, Nakamura and Styles. And the greatest Royal Rumble. They're two of the preeminent in-ring performers of the generation. But is this rivalry ready? A brutal altercation between Styles and Nakamura. For its next chapter. Last man AJ Styles. Shinsuke Nakamura. A last man standing match for the WWE Championship. This rivalry is going to a whole new level. Who will stand tall and walk out of money in the bank as WWE Champion? WWE Money in the Bank. Streaming live tonight on WWE Network. As always, WWE Network is free for new subscribers. She was ready for the games. Ready for UFC. She was ready for Hollywood. But is Ronda Rousey ready for Nia Jax? Six feet tall, 272 pounds. The irresistible force Nia Jax. The baddest woman on the planet, Ronda Rousey. On a collision course for the championship. As always, WWE Network is free for new subscribers. the bank pay-per-view streaming live tonight on wwe network as always wwe network is free for new subscribers they battled at wrestlemania the dream match nakamura and styles and the greatest royal rumble they're two of the preeminent in-ring performers of the generation but is this rivalry ready a brutal altercation between Styles and Nakamura. For its next chapter. Last man standing! AJ Styles. Shinsuke Nakamura. A last man standing match for the WWE Championship. This rivalry is going to a whole new level. Who will stand tall? and walk out of money in the bank as WWE Champion. WWE Money in the Bank. Streaming live tonight on... presents Money in the Bank. Ladies and gentlemen of the WWE Universe, welcome to arguably one of the most hard-hitting, intense, career-altering nights of the entire year. We've got two future title opportunities suspended high above the ring with one year expiration date. On both of them, we've got Ronda Rousey in her first ever singles competition. That is all happening here tonight on Money in the Bank. But this right here is the Money in the Bank kickoff show. I'm your host, Renee Young, but I am not breaking things down here all by myself. Please welcome on WWE superstar actor, all around great guy, David Otonga. Well, hey, thanks for having me here. Tonight, we're in my hometown of Chicago. Mm -hmm. It's Money in the Bank, and it's Father's Day. So happy Father's Day to all you fathers out there. Happy Father's Day. Like this Day. one here. This guy right here, WWE Hall of Famer, great dad, Booker T. Daddy is right there. Daddy is y'all. <laughs> hey, guys, we in Chicago. They're feeling it already. Uh, we about to do this thing, y'all. <laughs> 
joining us from ESPN and Hot 97, Peter Rosenberg. And Complex Open late, Renee. Damn right. How do I follow this guy up? We, can't. we can't. are here. Chicago, money in the bank. There's a reason they call it the fifth major, guys. This is a night that sets the course for the next that, several they're months. They're trying to get that in golf right now. You it's know, not real in golf. Major, you know it's real here. It's real here tonight, and you can feel it. The fact that the doors opened not that long ago and instantly we're already met with this energy here tonight. Everybody here knows how important tonight is to so many of those superstars waiting to walk out here to perform for everybody. The Jacksons, they had a song in 1980. Can you feel it? Can you feel it? Can you feel it? Well, That's here's the thing. Tonight, Joe. Facts. You, you might not feel it right now, but you can see it. The only place you can see it is on the WWE Network, and Money in the Bank is absolutely free to all new subscribers. Just head on over to WWENetwork.com, sign up, and get it started, because you don't want to miss a second of this, because tonight, the namesake matchup, the Money in the Bank ladder match, Four superstars from Raw, four superstars from SmackDown Live, all vying for that one title opportunity. Oh, and it's a big night. Ronda Rousey is really going for it in the WWE tonight. The Raw Women's Championship is on the line as Ronda Rousey takes on the champion, Nia Jax. And you're talking about two guys that's got a score to settle. Big man versus little man. We're going to find out who's the best tonight. Daniel Bryan taking on Big Cass. And then after an amazing year over on SmackDown Live, the modern day Maharaja has come to Raw and he's looking to make a name for himself by targeting the big dog. Tonight, we'll find out whose yard Raw really is. And moving things back on over to the blue brand for the SmackDown Women's Championship. Carmella's gonna show off if she really is money or if it's time for the Empress to reign once again. And Sami Zayn has spent weeks trying to defame Bobby Lashley, even questioning his military career. Tonight, Bobby's out for retribution. We'll find out if Sami finally went too far and pushed Bobby over the edge. A wise man named Owen Hart once said, enough is enough, it's time for a change. Well, enough is enough. We're gonna find out who the last man standing's gonna be. It's AJ Styles defending the SmackDown Championship against Shinsuke Nakamura. Intercontinental Championship match tonight, guys. Seth Rollins defends against the dual superstar athlete, Elias. Tonight, guys, this one, Money in the Bank, is gonna be good. You heard it from the man right here. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, it continues on. I'm sorry. Got caught up. I got caught up in the moment. Can I be it honest? Happened. It's the second ever women's ladder match. I'm talking about Sasha Banks, Natalia, Charlotte, Ember Moon, Alexa Bliss, Becky Lynch, Naomi, and Lana. Come it's on. All happening tonight. Oh, the fact dude. that we have this amount of energy at this exact moment means you guys do not want to miss any of this. Head on over to www.network.com, sign up, and start this because you are going to get money in the bank for absolutely free tonight if you're a new subscriber. But right now, we're going to take things on backstage for our other broadcast colleague, Charlie Caruso. Charlie, what's up? Hey, thanks, Renee. Yeah, Money in the Bank has finally arrived. So much excitement in store for tonight. Tonight, Daniel Bryan and Big Cass continue the saga, writing the next chapter in their heated rivalry. I just saw Daniel Bryan backstage. He says he's very motivated for this match, wants to finally put Big Cass in his place. Now, Daniel Bryan, he is going to sit down for an exclusive interview later on in the kickoff show, and he wants to get the entire WWE Universe involved. So hop on social media, use the hashtag AskDB, and get those questions in for him. Now, also, a lot of buzz going around about which member of the New Day is going to be competing in the men's Money in the Bank ladder match. I just heard him talking backstage. They this said that they're going to choose... You know, I ordered these three days ago, and it's not even ready. Three days ago, I wanted it done by this time. Whatever time it is now is when I needed it. Kevin. Why, what do you want? What's, what can what, I do for you? What's, what's in that bag? That's none of your business. Okay, I don't, I, I don't have time for this. Wait, 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 wait. Now that I have you right here, I'm just curious to know how you're feeling after being power slammed by Braun Strowman last week. You know what, Charlie? Actually, I feel great. It, it felt great. To, to be power slammed on, on a steel ladder by a 500 pound monster. You know, my back's been acting up lately and it, it's like Braun like, like fixed it. Is that, is that a serious question? How do you think I feel after that, huh? You know what, actually, I, I feel like a fool. Like a fool because, you know, last Monday I actually thought that Finn Balor and Bobby Roode would have enough common sense to, to realize that, that I was right when I said we needed to, to work together to take Braun out, but they didn't. Nobody listens to me. Nobody ever does the right thing, which is to listen to me. So you know what, tonight, I'm gonna take a different approach. 
Excuse me, Kevin. Finally! You forgot these? Finally! I forgot these. They weren't ready. I didn't forget them. Give them. Give them. Kevin, are those pancakes in that bag? No. Okay, well, I guess we're gonna have to wait and see what exactly is in that bag. And as far as the new day goes, oh, Oh, I'm sorry, I actually can't reveal any more information at this time. So Renee, I'm gonna throw things back your way. Wait, did, was Charlie, you're getting some scoops there and you're not gonna share it with us? Apparently Come not. Come on. We are not in the know. Uh, Kevin Owens is particularly fired up here tonight. He should be. He there, should be right. There's a lot of pressure. Kevin Owens has a, a place that he believes he belongs in, mm -hmm. a rightful place. And See the only way to pop. get there is See through winning pop. money in the bank See and getting that pop. briefcase. Well, I guess we're going to find out a little bit later. Of course, we are going to be dissecting all of that match a little bit later here tonight. But also, we're going to get our first bit of action tonight as the Good Brothers take on the Bludgeon Brothers, who walks away with the tag team gold. We're going to find out tonight on the Money in the Bank kickoff show. And it's a last man standing match as well. We're going to be breaking all that down on the other side of this. Still to come on the Money in the Bank kickoff show. in the Bank pay-per-view, streaming live tonight on WWE Network. As always, WWE Network is free for new subscribers. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the Money in the Bank kickoff show coming to you from Chicago, Illinois. We're breaking down all of the action set here for tonight, and we are talking about that last man standing match. The phenomenal one and the king of strong style. Tonight we find out who is truly at the top of their game. No stone will be left unturned at the last man standing match. Rules don't apply, but low blows do. I feel like we've been at this war with each other forever. You played your dirty little games. You've drove me to the edge. You hide behind your low blows and pretend you can't speak the English language. Sorry, no speak English. And now I think I understand why. Because you know straight up, you can't beat me. AJ Styles sent to defend his WWE title against Shinsuke Nakamura in a no disqualification match. First man to get pinfall or submission is champion. Oh, God! They have to answer the officials' count here. Neither man's been able to try and get to their feet. And the officials making the decision. Shinsuke didn't lose to AJ Styles tonight. Commissioner Shane McMahon announced their championship rematch to take place at Money in the Bank. The winner of tonight's matchup will pick the stipulation. Now Styles. Oh! Styles stopped himself right before the referee. What the? Nakamura from behind. Kinshasa! Cover! Nakamura! All right, gentlemen, can you please sign the contract? This pen is broken. Is that the game you're gonna play? Sign it! I'm tired of these games. You know what? No, 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 I'm, I'm, listen, I'm, I'm fine. Oh! What the hell are you doing, AJ? I got games, I got games. Let's play! Last man stand. The only way to win a last man standing match is to incapacitate your opponent for the count of 10. You know what, I don't care what the stipulation is. I'm walking out as WWE Champion. Oh, wait a minute! Styles not gonna win any longer, brings the fight directly to Shinsuke Nakamura.
Okay, so real quick before we start breaking down this matchup, let's just reiterate the rules for this last man standing match. No pinfalls, no submissions, no disqualifications, no count outs. The only way to win is to incapacitate your opponent until he cannot answer to the count of 10. Um, so I feel like going into this, it seems very obvious that this should favor Shinsuke Nakamura. He was the one that chose it after all. But I feel like AJ Styles is ready to bring everything he needs to hold on to his championship tonight in front of the Chicago crowd tonight. I don't think he's afraid of this last man standing stipulation. AJ's going to have to, but I mean, okay, AJ's been an honorable champion. Shinsuke has shown he will do whatever it takes. He will sink to the lowest depths. Is AJ willing to do the same thing? Is AJ going to get his hands AJ's dirty? AJ's gone there. He's gotten his hands dirty, if you know what I'm saying. But, like, he's been there, you know? No, I like that. See what I'm saying? <laughs> now, 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 the thing is, you know, both of these men, they know exactly what's on the line, the championship. And I can't knock either one of these men for doing exactly what they did at Backlash, going low and whatnot. That's what you do sometimes when, when the, the stakes are so high. Both of these tough. guys are going to go out here tonight, and they're going to leave it all in the middle of this ring at Backlash. The best man will leave with stipulations in a matchup like this. Well, I'll tell you right now, I think the pressure is on Shinsuke Nakamura. Okay. You look back at when he first came up from NXT and how popular he was and how great he was. Well, guess what? He never got the title. He got to WrestleMania. Yeah. Yeah. He lost. Yep. We get to backlash. They get no decision. He has to win the championship tonight, or it's time to move on. You, got, you know what? I'm, I'm going to go out on a limb here, guys. Right now, in 2018, this is AJ Styles' moment. This is his time. And I don't think anybody on that roster can go out there and beat AJ Styles. The phenomenal one in that ring so, at this time. AJ for you tonight. He's my guy. I'm picking Shinsuke. Backs against the wall. Okay. I'm taking Shinsuke as well. Go out there, let him fight. Shinsuke is going to take it. I'm going Shinsuke on this one too, hey, Buck. I think he's been walking on Chicago here, new now. WWE champ. Well, I let's take I'm things on back to last week, Monday Night Raw. Sami Zayn and Bobby Lashley uh, went through an obstacle course. Uh, of course, Sami Zayn claiming that he doesn't think that Bobby Lashley's actually been through the military received a ton of backlash on saying that. So he figured the only way to really get to the bottom of that was to put Bobby Lashley through this obstacle course and then, of course, uh, attack him throughout that. Terrible look for Sami Zayn here tonight. But now we're going to finally get to see these two go one on one. Sami Zayn taking on Bobby Lashley. No obstacle courses, just this. Tonight we're going to find out who the better man is. And actually, earlier today, Sami Zayn sent out this tweet just to add a little uh, worse for wear. See? Today on Father's Day, I'm dedicating my Money in the Bank match to fight Bobby's mother, or sorry, uh, Bobby Lashley's <laughs> father, a man who raised three beautiful daughters uh, and a disappointing son. Wow, what see, a guy. See, here's the thing. I'm going to take this to my world for a second. Okay. There was just a big beef in hip hop, right? Drake and Pusha T. Yeah. You're so going to compare this to Drake and Pusha T? I can't no, no, wait to see tea. how this goes. Oh, well, <laughs> I thought he well, said he, Hear me tea. out. Because Drake put out his freestyle and everything was great. But then what did Drake do? He mentioned Pusha's wife. The second Oof. he mentioned Pusha's family, right about things that. change. Sammy's been playing around with Bobby Lashley's family too much. You can only play around with a man's family so much before they snap. You know what, man? You don't, you don't mess with a man's food and his woman. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? Or oh, his family. And that's what this thing is about. Bobby Lashley, in my opinion, Bobby should have took the initiative from day one with Sami Zayn. No plan, no job, and just business. Bobby Lashley is here back in the WWE out of, out of I mean, a long hiatus. He was gone for a long time. He needs to be making a point in WWE, and that's going out there and fight Bobby. Fight. That's what I want to see. All right. Well, tonight it's do or die for these guys right now. What are you going to say it, there? I, I was going to say I don't think that Bobby took Sammy as like a major threat. He was just too cool all through this. But you're right. It became personal when Sammy questioned his military career. Everything changed. Now Bobby's ready to fight. And this guy is a freak athlete. This isn't the kind of guy you just want to go pick a fight. Did you see with. how quickly he got through that obstacle course? It was oh, like no, come on, man. I mean, seconds Bobby shouldn't have been out there playing around at no obstacle. But somebody challenges you. Of course you're going to rise the occasion. Somebody challenge me, man. I'm going to hit him in his mouth. That's what I'm going to do. That's what a challenge is like right there in the middle of that square circle, man. It's money in the bank. Uh, so Bobby Lashley all around here? Or? I'm going Bobby Lashley. Easy, Bobby. Tonight it's all Bobby. about Bobby Lashley. We've got lots more to break down as we carry on here with the Money in the Bank kickoff show. And, of course, Carmella. She was a winner of last year's Women Money in the Bank ladder match, and she successfully cashed in to become SmackDown Women's Champion. But tonight she finds herself going one-on-one -on -one against the Empress of Tomorrow. We'll break that down next.
go, Tom. It's your favorite thing. Good vibrations. This match that we are witnessing is not about the WWE Championship. This is about who is the better man. Tonight, he is champion. Can you feel it? Can you feel it? Can you sense it? Here it comes. Here it comes. Take down. Styles Knight. So oh, he's got the arm bar. He's got it out of nowhere. WWE Champions. Download now. We're coming to you live from the All-State Arena in Chicago, Illinois, getting set here for Money in the Bank. And WWE Money in the Bank is presented by WWE Champions, the mobile game. Download WWE Champions now and enter the code STRONGSTYLE to get a free Nakamura character. Now we bring things on over here to the blue brand. Carmella faces the most dominant woman WWE has ever seen, Asuka, and it is for the blue brand gold. Is it time for the Empress to reign, or will Carmella moonwalk out of Chi Town with her prized possession? Carmella is cashing in her Money in the Bank contract. Yes, Carmella with the kick! Do you know who we shot Flair tonight? You did. I did! <laughs> Game time, dead on lady. I beat Charlotte Flair. Go ahead, make a choose. Pretty hair, nice clothes, cute face. Oh, but she deadly, don't be full, give us some space. of my own. I am here to announce your opponent for money in the bank. Whoa, 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 whoa. Stop right there, Paige. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm not defending my title at Money in the Bank. Yes, you are going to put your title online. And it's going to be this woman. Anybody is ready for the Empress of Tomorrow, you must be insane. Asuka's so undeniably dangerous. Asuka is coming for the SmackDown Women's title. Everyone's afraid of Asuka, but I'm not. At WrestleMania, the Asuka myth was completely shattered by Charlotte Flair. The same Charlotte Flair that I defeated not once, but twice. So that makes me twice as good as Asuka. Asuka was undefeated, but now she's just defeated. The age of Asuka is over. At Money in the Bank, I am gonna moonwalk all over Asuka, and I'm gonna continue to prove that Mella is money. If you are not scared of me, you shoot me. Uh oh, Asuka, uh oh, there it is. Oh no! The Empress with the Oscar lock! Carmella's tapping! Carmella has tapped to Oscar! If that happens Sunday, Oscar will beat Carmella for the SmackDown Women's Championship! Am I a crazy person for thinking that Carmella's gonna walk away with the SmackDown Women's Championship tonight? Oh I think God. it's gonna be Ann Still. You, you guys were simpatico. Really? Uh, yes, I wholeheartedly believe. How's it gonna happen? Carmella is one of the smartest people in that locker room. Agreed. You can't tell me, Book, that Carmella's gonna walk in here with no plan. Uh, she is not walking in there with the, without an agenda. Hey, she hey. knows what she has to do. Everybody's got a plan until they get kicked in the face. <laughs> You already know Great that. Great Tyson quote. Exactly. Emotionally, I am not ready for the Carmella reign to be over. You know, I enjoy her as champion. I love watching her. She, she brings that entertainment you know, factor. I mean, everybody see this ma match as a mismatch. Everybody think Oscar's going to go in there and just pretty much just run through Carmella from a technical um, prowess in the ring. But my thing is this. Carmella, she just have to go out there and figure out how she's going to walk up out of this ring tonight, steel champion. How she's going to hold on to that championship. 
It's no stipulation in this match. So everything, right. everything plays in Carmella's favor yep. tonight here at Money in the Bank. She's just got to go out there and not get caught in the middle of the ring and get caught in that choke. Because if that happened, we know what's going to happen, guys. And the new. Champion. But this is also a scary spot for Oscar if she doesn't win tonight. I think she career wise needs this big time. Yeah. Well, especially after what happened in Mania. No one expected that. And here we are. Yeah. But for, Car for Carmella, I know she has something up hey, her man. sleeve. You know, uh, the Internet can cry. Yeah. She well, doesn't do enough better. high flying stuff. <laughs> oh, get off, off it. it. And, I, and I hope it's some headgear or a helmet. So she's gonna get her head kicked up. She better have something. Oscar was on a big roll, man. But that cloak of invincibility is gone. It's gone. This is a new Oscar here tonight. Mm. Well, we'll find out how that all plays out. But from one trash talker and Carmella on to another one. Tonight, Big Cass gets another opportunity at Daniel Bryan. He's been asking for it. And tonight, he gets to take on the leader of the Yes Movement. However, we're going to take you guys back to two weeks ago. And Big Cass, of course, had some choice words for D-Bry. A good big man will always defeat a good little man. After Money in the Bank, Daniel Bryan will have to look himself in the mirror, and he's gonna come to the slow realization that a pathetic little man like him will never survive in this big man's world. And please welcome to the Money in the Bank kickoff show panel, Daniel Bryan. Bryan, how you doing? I'm doing great. How are you? Good. Uh, right off the bat, what's your reaction to all these words that Big Cass has been throwing your way about? He's tall, you're short. Where do you stand on it? Uh, the whole idea of a good big man beating a good little man is kind of sound in theory, but that requires the big man to actually be good, or at least better than the little man. And I don't think he can, he can beat me. Fair enough. All right, we're going to get some Twitter questions. Are you cool with All that? Right. Yep, I'm All cool right. with that. Daniel, what's up? It's Rosenberg. Happy Father's Day, by the way, my oh, friend. Oh, thank you very much. Happy Father's Day to all the other fathers out there as well. Um, all right, this comes from WWE underscore Balor underscore Club. Considering that you're the smaller man in this match, what is your game plan to beat Big Cass tonight? Uh, the same game plan as every day. Try to tap out the world. You know what I mean? Like, Big Cass is big, but I've fought bigger guys than him, and I've tapped out bigger guys than him. And so that's my plan. I'm going to go in there, and whether it's the yes lock, whether it's the heel hook, whether I just knee him in the face and then stomp him repeatedly, that's what I'm going to do, and I'm going to get him to tap out. All right, Brian, David Otunga here. Happy Father's Day to you again. Thank you. This one comes from Love My Hazzy. Did you like to be GM of SmackDown Live? It had its ups and its downs. Uh, I mean, the hard part was is that I had to be around something I loved and not be able to do it. Um, but that was part of the motivating factor for me to get back in the ring. That's why I'm here today, is being here week in and week out as the GM, seeing people going out there and doing what I love to do and not being able to do it myself. Uh, so that motivated me, uh, made me work harder to get back into the ring. Of course, we're so excited to have you back in the ring, but you do cherish our times from Talking Smack, right? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I miss, I miss Talking Smack. <laughs> talking Smack was a good show. Hey, Daniel Bryan, it's Booker T, uh, WWE Hall of Famer, one of your... <laughs> I like how you put yourself over there, Booker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Make sure know. we all know. In case he didn't know. <laughs> One of your biggest fans, man, you got a question here from uh, at the Chris Panther. And the question is, what advantages do you have over Cass going into this match tonight here at Money Debate? Uh, besides the submission skill difference, I think the, my main three attributes that I have better than Big Cass are three things. Legs, lungs, heart. He cannot work me, he cannot pace me, and he doesn't have the heart that I have from being here for 18 years and having to fight through the things that I've fought through. He does the big thing about, oh, I'm a big man, I'm a big man. Big men in this business, as you know, Booker, get given a lot of stuff. They get handed things here, there. Oh, you're gonna be great, oh, you're gonna be great. They just expect to be great, and they don't have to work for it, and they don't have to fight for it. I fight for it, and tonight, I'm gonna fight for Big Cass, and I'm gonna beat him. Daniel oh, Bryan, thank like you so much for joining us. Looking forward to see uh, what you do out there in the ring tonight. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, Daniel Bryan, of course, very confident, as we're used to seeing him here, but he does not seem to be sweating big cast at all right now. He makes me want to 
go to the gym. He makes me want to start a whole new life. I, I'm inspired <laughs> when I see him. Yeah. And I think it's such a treat that we have this chapter, another chapter to Daniel Bryan's career. You know, I'm excited. I mean, I like the attitude of Daniel Bryan going into this matchup tonight. You know, and the thing is, we saw, you know, uh, Horace Gracie, you know, the little guy in the UFC came along and showed that a little guy can go out yep. and match up with a big guy. So, Daniel Bryan, good luck tonight going out there with Big Cass. Well, I actually talked to Daniel Bryan a little bit earlier today, and he was telling me that Big Cass have been training with Drew Gulak, working on his submission skills. So, we'll see how much of that is actually applied in the ring tonight and you know, how much you, you can you learn know, in a you, short yeah, period you of know, time. You, you've seen stories on that right there. When you try to start something, hey, stick to what works for you, all right? <laughs> totally, I'm going to just leave it right there. We in Chicago. So you guys want to make any predictions here? Daniel uh, Bryan for sure. I think Cass is underestimating him. Yeah, sorry Cass, you got caught up in this Daniel Bryan movement. It's, no, it's Bryan no, again. No, I say if Big Cass go out there and stick to what he needs to, ground and pound, mm -hmm. put them hands on him, keep the distance. Don't let Daniel Bryan get close to the body. We can uh, go out there and see uh, Big Cass do this thing. Yeah. All right, guys, we'll stick with us here on the Money in the Bank kickoff show. We've got lots more to break down as the clock is winding down closer and closer to Money in the Bank on the WWE Network. She was ready for the games. Ready for UFC. She was ready for Hollywood. But is Ronda Rousey ready? for Nia Jax. Six feet tall, 272 pounds. The irresistible force Nia Jax, the baddest woman on the planet, Ronda Rousey, on a collision course for the championship. Rousey, go for the armbar! Nia's tapping! If that happens, Sunday Rousey will shock the world! As always, WWE Network is free for new subscribers. WWE Universe, welcome back to the Money in the Bank kickoff show. We can see our crowd here in Chicago, Illinois, making their way inside the All-State Arena. Now, one man whose career has been recently uh, been made off of being a fighting champion is standing by with Charlie Caruso. Thank you so much, Renee. Yes, everybody, please help me in welcoming my guest. He is the Intercontinental Champion, Seth Rollins. All right, Seth, uh, you know, last week, you destroyed Elias's homemade custom guitar, and uh, looks like you kept it as a little keepsake. No, 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 no. This this isn't the same one. This was this guitar was a gift from my friend John Mayer, right? <laughs> he slid in my DMs over the week. You know, I, he he really liked what happened on Monday, and he decided to give me a replica. So uh, yeah, here it is. Thanks, John. Um, no, you know what? In all seriousness, uh, I'm looking forward to this title fight for a variety of reasons. You know. Uh, one, it's Chicago, it's money in the bank, it's huge, but also Elias is going to be some stiff competition. You know, he's, uh, he's a hell of an entertainer. He's got, he's got a mean streak. But the truth is, Elias isn't on my level. I'll try to put this in terms that maybe he can understand. Elias' greatest hits wouldn't even make the cut on my B-sides. So... I know he might think that he's gonna walk out of Chicago with the Intercontinental Championship, but I wanna make one thing perfectly clear, and that's that this title is my title. I fight for this title every single night, and tonight will be no exception. I will leave Chicago, I will leave Money in the Bank. The man, the architect, the Kingslayer, Seth freaking Rollins, the Intercontinental. All right, well, it looks like Seth is not planning on holding anything back tonight. Renee, back to you in the panel. Thanks, Charlie. Uh, here's the thing. I feel like with this matchup, I'm very excited about this matchup. I know I'm going out on a limb here, but I feel like I might see Elias walk out of here as the Intercontinental Champion. You love Elias I as a do. singer. Let's I be, do. Let's be honest, you love him. I am album. a big fan, but, let, but here's the thing. I mean, Seth Rollins, of course, is one of the best Intercontinental Champions we've seen in a long time. He fight, he's a fighting champion, and that's the biggest thing about him tonight. He's willing to put that championship on the, the line one, any opportunity. The one thing, we have not seen one make a splash like Elias have in such a long time. This dual superstar athlete. I mean, like I say, you see this crowd? Everybody right here, they will be staying for the concert later on tonight. If Elias was having one, that's how big and how popular this guy is. So I say anything can happen. 
happen in this match tonight. We could see a star in the making happen tonight. It just got so insanely loud up in here. It's just Chicago. It turns up when it turns up. Chicago is firing it up. So who do you guys think is going to walk away tonight? I'm going with Elias. I'm well, going with Elias. To me, it's Elias, are you about to sing him or are you about to get this work done? I think Elias needs to win tonight to show people what time it is. I think Elias has a lot of potential. You know, eventually he'll be a champion, but not tonight. This is the best Seth Rollins we've ever seen. Rollins. Kid's got a hell of a look. He got a hell of a body, but tonight he's going to slip on a banana peel. That's what you're saying, <laughs> right? I don't know. I don't. I don't see that From happening. From one member of the Shield on to another, here we got to talk about the big dog, Roman Reigns tonight. He's going to be squaring off against the modern day Maharaja as both superstars have derailed each other's chances at vying for tonight's Money in the Bank ladder match. So tonight, here they're going to be going toe to toe to settle the score. And let's take things back to last month as these two again start to derail each other's opportunities. This is Roman Reigns looking for that big spot. And of course, Jinder Mahal's got to get his hands in there. This is classic Jinder. He fell right into Jinder's plan. You know, somebody like Roman Reigns, I mean, how much did he need this opportunity to be in this Money in the Bank ladder oh, match? He, this would have been he a He needed this a ton. Him. Roman has been chasing the Universal Championship. This would have been his opportunity to get in the Money in the Bank ladder match. And right there, the modern day Maharaja cost him. You step he, on somebody's toes like that, you know that you're going to be getting a heavy receipt for that. You know, Roman Reigns, that's the type of guy you want to play with. He's going to get real serious, oh. real quick. Just like this, right here. Oh, God. And even backstage, Roman was not done. Oh. Spear through the wall. We've been talking all night about how important tonight is for everybody's career. Roman Reigns has been in that top spot for some time, and Jinder Mahal has done nothing but prove that he really does earn the well, spot to be there. This as well. is why I think it's so big for both of them. Roman Reigns has to hurt. He's not in the title match tonight. Yeah. He's not in a Money in the Bank match tonight. You know that hurts Roman Reigns. He can't afford to lose to Jinder. And for Jinder, this was a champion. He needs to show that he belongs as a big primetime player no, on Monday not, Night not, Raw. Not just a champion. A champion that came from SmackDown to Monday Night Raw and got screwed by Kurt Angle. Kurt Angle put him in a match when he definitely should not have been in a match. Wasn't ready for a match. So now Jinder's going to do whatever he needs to do to put himself back in the game. If that, that means going out there, taking down the big dog, that's exactly what it is. Can he do it? But can he think, do it? I mean, you think Jinder got screwed, he wasn't ready. If you want to be the champion, Champion. You can be champion. the big guy over here in Raw. You always got to be ready. Look, man, I've never heard Roman ready. Reigns complain being about ready, not being ready. Being ready is one thing, but you know, it, it was it should have been a celebration for Jinder Mahal. For anybody else, I think it would have been a big celebration coming over to Monday Night Raw. I think it was shaded just a little bit. Wow! Wow! This is a take I didn't expect. Okay, Buck. Wow. Yeah, but, okay. But regardless, I'm just, I'm just speaking the truth here. So. You know, you think Ginger's going to get it done here tonight? You know, I'm hoping Ginger go out there and, and hold his own with Roman Reigns because of the show Ginger Mahal is a major player, just like I think he is. Love Ginger. Would love to see him prove himself. Roman's got his back against the wall. He's yeah. going to win. Roman Reigns, it's his yard. It's got to be Roman Reigns. here tonight. Uh, We've all whatever, made man. our predictions. Whatever. But as we carry on here talking about our first bit of action still to come here tonight, uh, in our Money in the Bank kickoff show, it's our first battle of the night as the Bludgeon Brothers take on the Good Brothers that is still here to come on the Money in the Bank kickoff show. is ticking down here in Chi Town as we are set for a sold out All State Arena. And everyone's making their way in here as we get set for Money in the Bank. Now, one man who's joining us here on the Money in the Bank kickoff panel. He's got a vested interest in tonight's Money in the Bank ladder matchup. Please welcome on Samoa Joe. Good to be here. Good Joseph. to be here. How you doing? Yeah, Pleasure, right. book. Yeah, I'm fantastic. 
Joe, tonight's a big night for you career-wise. Who do you have uh, your eye on the most in this matchup? I mean, I'd love to sit here and give you one specific person I'm looking out for. But the fact of the matter is, the people that are out there in that ring are all very, very dangerous individuals. And the key to one of these type of ladder matches is the closer you are to victory, the closer you are to defeat because you're very vulnerable on top of that ladder. It's just about taking advantage of the right moment. I, I wonder, do you feel a, a, an extra level of pressure to win this briefcase so you can get your hands on Brock Lesnar? You have unfinished business with that man. Absolutely, and that's definitely one of the major keys. I'm sorry to interrupt, Joe. Rosenberg, I'm not sorry at all. Booker, how are you? Joe, listen. You and I, we're both very hard-headed. We, we do things our own way, but we're both very capable on our own. But I'm telling you, tonight, we need to work together because together, we're unstoppable, and unstoppable is what we need to be to take Braun Strowman unstoppable. out. I'm telling you, yes, unstoppable. I'm telling you, I've been oh, dealing oh. with Strowman on Raw for weeks now. And nobody else has the common sense to listen to me, but I know you do. Come on, Joe. You know, I agree with a lot of things you're saying. You except should. for one. What? And that's trusting you. That's something that I will never do. I'm not so asking, uh, Joe, I'm not asking you to trust me. I'm not asking you to trust me. I'm asking you to have common sense. Tonight, one night, together we take Strowman out, then one of us grabs that briefcase, cashes in, becomes Universal Champion. Becomes WWE Champion. One of us grabs that briefcase. Yeah. Come common on, man. Sense. It's common yeah, sense. It's common sense. It's something we should do. Yeah. Let me tell you something. How about you use a little bit of common sense? Step away from the tag before I get to your ass. You know what? I, I, I give up. I give up. Make your move. Make your move. So, Joe, how have you prepared for this match tonight? How do you think I prepared? Doing what I did to that cat right there, beating people up, pumping people out, and tonight everybody goes to sleep. I'll take my case. He's my pick. You're my pick tonight, man. I got you, Joe. Take care of your business, dog. Good luck. Good take luck. Care of your Joe, thank you very much for joining us business. tonight. It's now time for us to head on down to ringside to get to our first bit of action. We're going to go down to uh, our commentary team, Tom, Tom Phillips, Byron Saxton, and Corey Gray. Thank you, Renee. And I gotta say, Samoa Joe and Kevin Owens, if they could come to some sort of accord, it might go a long way in the men's Money in the Bank ladder match. It's gonna match. be absolutely necessary if anybody in that match wants any chance of stopping Braun Strowman. I'll tell you what, uh, that's why Braun Strowman's my pick. I'm saying Braun Strowman is walking up that ladder, he's capturing that contract, and he's gonna cast it in. Well, Tom Phillips, Byron Saxon, Corey Graves. I'm green with envy, guys. This is gonna be a great night. The following contest scheduled for one fall is for the SmackDown Tag Team Championship. Introducing the challengers at a combined weight of 510 pounds, Lou Gallows and Carl Anderson. Our first act of the night here in Chicago, the Good Brothers knocked off the Usos to earn this SmackDown Tag Team title opportunity. And WWE Money in the Bank is presented by WWE Champions, the mobile game. Download WWE Champions now and enter code STRONGSTYLE to get a free Nakamura character. And by Gold Bond Men's Essentials Body Powder and Spray. Stay cool with Gold Bond. Chicago, Illinois, here comes the reckoning. And their opponents at a combined weight of 590 pounds. They are the SmackDown Tag Team Champions, Harper Rowan, the Bludgeon Brother. You know, it could be said that since arriving on SmackDown Live, Gallows and Anderson have sort of had the fire inside them reignited. But the Bludgeon Brothers are like two towering behemoths we've never seen as a team before. Yeah, armed with callous hearts and bad intentions, Harper and Rowan have virtually been unstoppable on SmackDown Live. And as good as Gallows and Anderson can be, former tag team champions when they were part of Monday Night Raw coming to SmackDown Live, part of the superstar shakeup. Can they take down a team as depraved as Harper and Rowan? Well, we've seen several weeks ago on SmackDown Live when Carl Anderson was able to score a shocking upset. Yes. Over Harper, but I can assure you that's only driving the Bludgeon Brothers to be more willing to inflict more punishment than usual. 
Harper and Rowan set to defend the SmackDown Tag Team titles against Gallows and Anderson. Ooh, and two big bulls to start this off, Rowan and Gallows. It's not every day that Rowan's in the ring with someone who can match him in size, but... Uh-oh, wait a minute. Oh, and Rowan caught in the corner, and in comes Gallows. Oh! Big, heavy hands of Luke Gallows. Very precise. A tag. tag made by Harper there. Such familiarity. Oh! For both these teams with their tag team partners. Now Anderson into the ring. And Grace, how much do you think it weighs on the minds of the Good Brothers? Oh, oh man. wow. A little over a year since they were last champions. Now Anderson, a boot oh. out of the jaw there of Harper. Harper's hung up. This oh. is a bad situation. And Harper's all tangled up here in the top rope. Finally tumbles to the floor. Well, Harper's going to be lucky if he didn't damage his ankle. A clutch a knee, maybe. Back of his right knee there. And look at this. Gallows and Anderson might have an opportunity Ooh. here. This with is a smart strategy. Oh. This is what you're going to have to do against the Bludgeon Brothers. Keep your foot on the gas pedal. Oh, oh man. Wow. And now just tossing Gallows up the entranceway. And Gallows and Anderson started oh, no, no. off hot, but no, no, now no. two on one. Oh, man. Face first into the apron. The bum rushing style. Oh, oh my God. Double drop kicks. Can Gallows and Anderson get back in this for the SmackDown Tag Team titles? The Bludgeon Brothers are rolling in Chicago. They battled at WrestleMania. The dream match. Nakamura and Styles. And the greatest Royal Rumble. They're two of the preeminent in-ring performers of the generation. But is this rivalry ready? A brutal altercation between Styles and Nakamura. For its next chapter. Last man standing! AJ Styles. Shinsuke Nakamura. A last man standing match for the WWE Championship. This rivalry is going to a whole new level. Who will stand tall and walk out of money in the bank as WWE Champion? WWE Money in the Bank. Streaming live tonight on WWE Network. As always, WWE Network is free for new subscribers. And a kick out there by Carl Anderson. This all for the SmackDown Tag Team titles here on the Money in the Bank kickoff show. Domination has continued throughout the commercial break. It has been all Harper and Rowan. A real bad situation here for Carl Anderson. Oh, no, no. Caught up here by Harper. Complete control here. Anderson. Oh, slingshot right to the middle rope. Cover here by Harper. Harper to put it away and a kick out. For now, Anderson's all alone. Luke Allos has been taken out of the equation by the Bludgeon Brothers. Tag. You see the confident smirk on the face of Harper before delivering this wicked slingshot into the middle oh. rope. Just decapitating Anderson. It's like Harper and Rowan are just toying with the opposition right now. Pump and oh. into the backbreaker, and look at Rowan. Palming Anderson, oh, oh it dropped him. I mean, this has become the norm for the Bludgeon Brothers. Rushes into a cover to put away the Good Brothers in a kick out. Unrelenting dominance and control of the match. You see the Luke Gallo still trying to shake off the cobwebs. And trying to make him make himself a, a part of this match once again uh, for as good a shape as Carl Anderson. Oh, and Luke Gallows have gotten themselves in for this title matchup. Just hasn't mattered here against the Bludgeon Brothers. This is the worst case scenario, but Harper and Rowan can tag in and out, take their time, pick their spots. We've already seen what Harper and Rowan are willing to do. Oh. How about that ridiculous double drop oh. kick by a couple of 300 pounders on the outside? Oh, yeah, taking out Luke Gallows early on in the match. Now Anderson scurrying away here from Harper, who's legal. Oh, man. Did you hear the thud inside the chest of Anderson? Now Harper on the move, leg drop right to the sternum, hook to the leg here, and a kick out. Uh, heading into this match, Anderson and Gallows were very confident. They other tag, very confident they could do what someone called the impossible. But you wonder where is that confidence stand now? Uh -oh. oh, and with the splash, look out That's below, it. cover another kick out by the challengers, and Gallows is still not moved on the outside very much at all. Look at Rowan now, all of his 300 plus pounds grinding down. 
This is the rear chin lock on Carl Anderson. You gotta respect Anderson's effort, his willingness to keep fighting, but oh, oh, oh and look at the pressure on the sides of the sides of the cheeks there of Carl Anderson. Oh, it dropped. Yeah! The last thing Carl Anderson planned on was a virtual handicap match, and that's the situation he finds himself in. How do you adjust if you can? Oh, oh, look out! Oh, oh, man. Yeah. And this was what Carl Anderson and Luke Gallows were worried about. This sort of pace, it, it, Graves, it could just be a matter of time for Harper and Rowan. I said it several minutes ago. It's almost as if oh. Harper and Rowan are toying with Anderson. Oh, oh man, wait a minute. minute. Rowan shoulder force into the post. Anderson has a window of opportunity. You can never get too comfortable with a veteran like Anderson in the ring. Tagged by Harper. Oh, oh with a spine buster. But Anderson still has no one to tag. Oh, wait there a minute. we go. Gallows is back up. Just in time. Now can Anderson make the tag? The six foot eight house of fire tag. waiting to come in the ring. Here comes the big LG with the boot to Harper. Oh. Uh, educated feet of Gallows. Ducks out of the clothesline right on the jaw of Harper. Luke Gallows' prime opportunity to turn the complexion of this match around. Harper's on Dream Street oh, right now. And Gallows on the move. Oh. Kick there to Rowan. Harper in a world of trouble. And now Gallows, pump handle slam. It's raw power from Luke Gallows. Gallows taking on all covers. In comes Anderson with a kick. Rowan deposited on the outside. Uh-oh, watch out. Anderson drops Rowan. And I think there could be some good brother and happening in Chi-Town. Harper with a boot. Maybe, Maybe not. Took down Gallows. Cover oh. and a kick out. Broken up by Anderson, rather. Good wherewithal from Anderson. Oh. And Harper with a shot there drops Anderson. Oh. 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 Harper is such a heavy hitter. Trying to set up Gallows oh, here. No. Oh, oh, oh. Magic killer, magic killer on the way, the cut. Oh, and Rowan broke it up. Rowan just bulldozed Anderson. Oh, oh wait boy. a minute, wait. Oh, the boy. Bludgeon Brothers. Oh, and the big power bomb cover. Harper and Rowan retain. Here are your winners, and still, the SmackDown Tag Team Champions, the Bludgeon. Brother. You gotta respect the effort from Gallows and Anderson, certainly taking the Bludgeon Brothers to the limit. But Harper and Rowan, just too much, too overwhelming a force in the tag team division. Take a look back here, the closing moments of this match, Byron, this could have secured Gallows and Anderson the tag team titles. Yeah, Gallows and Anderson oh. looking for the magic killer, but Rowan just literally changing the course of events to the big Luke Gallows. Oh, a power bomb. Harper and Rowan able to retain their titles. They have set the tone already for the Money in the Bank pay-per-view, starting at 7 Eastern, 4 Pacific, live from Chicago. That is a painful loss for the Good Brothers here tonight in Chicago. That one's gonna sting. They're, they're alive. And as long as you get out of a match with the Bludgeon Brothers alive, good I point. consider that to be a small victory. The Good, good. Brothers put up a good fight. <laughs> Booker T, everybody. Good guy. Good, guy. good way to get everybody fired up here tonight, though, as we get set, because we are moments away from going live on the WWE Network with Money in the Bank. So head on over to uh, www.network.com, sign up, because it is free to all new subscribers here for Money in the Bank. And tonight we are talking about all of those key marquee matchups. Guys, the women's revolution is in full swing. Check out this lineup. Sasha Banks, Natalia, Ember Moon, Alexa Bliss, Charlotte Flair, Becky Lynch, Naomi, Lana. Guys, women ladder match tonight. Who's going to walk out with the briefcase and who's going to walk out with the chance of a lifetime? And then this one. Sometimes a rivalry gets so intense, it's best just to let the guys fight. Tonight, the WWE Championship will be decided in a last man standing match. AJ Styles, Shinsuke Nakamura will find out who's the tougher man.
And then, guys, I'm going to say it right now. This may be one of the best lineups for a Money in the Bank ladder match of all time. Braun Strowman, Finn Balor, Bobby Roode, Kevin Owens, a member of the New Day, Samoa Joe, The Miz, and Rusev all fighting for that briefcase. And in Ronda Rousey's first ever singles match in WWE, she's broken barriers all around the world, being dubbed the baddest woman on the planet. But tonight she takes on her biggest foe, Nia Jax, the irresistible four. I am a force that cannot be stopped. Greatness is my destiny. This hybrid blend of power and agility, confident like nothing you've seen before. Dominating. Look at the raw power. The irresistible force, the women's champion, Nia Jax. I believe it's an injustice. The spotlight has not been on her, which she's grabbing it now. of the NBC Universal Upfronts, where WWE has a huge presence here this year. Joining me now, Ronda Rousey. Ronda, congratulations on your success at WrestleMania. True test for Rousey here tonight. This is it, time to sharpen all our senses like a sword ready for war. You know we got this. Here comes Rousey! Call the cops! Rights and lefts, back in Triple H into the corner. Rousey positioning, look at the leverage. Oh my God! I cannot say how impressed I am with the in-ring debut tonight of Rowdy Ronda Rousey. I have a lot of challenges ahead of me, a lot of hard work and dedication that I need to put into this, but luckily I have some great examples. Woo! <laughs> you can kind of woo, but uh, can you do this? Can you be Raw Women's Champion? I have a title defense at Money in the Bank, and uh, I'm challenging you. I accept your challenge. Nia made the challenge. Nia put her championship on the line at Money in the Bank. I don't think it's much of a mystery. Nia Jax is supremely confident. Do you want the truth, Rhonda? The arm bar, it doesn't really mean much to me. The truth is, I will make a name for myself. Great. I'm gonna beat you is. at Money in the Bank. My destiny. I know I'm gonna beat you. When it comes to who's better between the two of us, at the end of the day, you're just not ready. Not ready. I am Ronda Rousey! Rousey's in fight mode! The power of Ronda Rousey! A vicious assault by Rousey! And I was born ready! Uh -oh. oh no! Oh, and a headbutt by Nia! Nia Jax looks to send a message to Rousey. Oh, but look at Rousey! Rousey, go for the arm bar! Nia's trying to block! The arm bar, it doesn't really mean much to me. Nia's tapping! Nia just tapped to Rousey! I am Ronda Rousey! This changes everything! And I was born ready! I guess the big question here tonight, is the arm bar gonna be enough? Is it gonna be enough to put away Nia Jax? I think it is, and I personally think that's what this match turns on. Can Ronda lock in that arm bar? We just saw, if she can lock it in, that's the match. New Raw Women's Champion, yeah, Ronda Rousey, I, I, if she I, can I, lock I, it I in. I different with that. See, because it is totally different being in that 20 by 20 opposed to being in an octagon. I mean, say for instance, she does get the arm bar. I mean, what about the rope break? It's no way that Nia Jax hadn't thought about that already. What about the five-second rule? What about the, the rules that don't apply in the octagon that does apply, you know, inside that 20 by 20, like a headbutt, like eye raking, like getting down and oh. dirty with some get out of here, boy. That, that's what I'm talking about. Now hold up, but I hear you. But I had some of those same thoughts before WrestleMania. And then what did we get from Ronda Rousey at WrestleMania? Let's be honest. She surprised the entire sure. WWE universe. She stole the show. You know what? You just said it right there. She's 
surprise the whole universe. Well, right now, Ronda Rousey, she ain't no surprise no more to know what nobody in that locker room. And right now, she's going up against the toughest woman in that locker room, perhaps in this whole company, perhaps in the whole business. I, I, it's all for you. Give them a, I give disagree, them a though. Give them a everybody. Give them what they want, but. Enjoy it because now so fed now up. I'm going to disagree with you though. I think that Ronda can surprise everybody now because Nia made this match because she thinks she knows what level Ronda is at. She hasn't been training with her. She doesn't know how quickly Ronda picks things up. Ronda could come out and surprise everybody and be totally well, better than Nia thought. Nia could very, be underestimating her. I think it's very clear that Ronda has excelled here very quickly. I yes. think she's incredibly adaptable. But then you do look at something like Nia Jax, who's had more time here. But as Booker said, the different rules apply, and I think that's going to be one of the key factors in this match. But you don't think Ronda's been taking time to learn the rules? Point. Come on. You, know, you don't become as successful as Ronda Rousey no, no, no. is. A UFC Hall of Famer, me. by the way. Hall of Famer. Not checking, You're right. not looking into the rules you know, and learning your trade. Into this business and take it over. Look, we saw CM Punk try to run in the UFC and try to take it over. How'd that that boy out? got the brakes beat off of him just a couple of weeks ago. And the same thing can happen here tonight in the middle of the three. Nia Jax, what her plan is, but is to bust the bubble of Ronda Rousey tonight here at Money in the Bank. You're That's right, the you're whole right, story. But, but they didn't just take wow. Ronda off the street and like, hey, we're going to put you in a match. No, she's been training at this. She's not some bum off the street. All right, whatever. Oh, my gosh. No, whatever. no, of course. You've already There's said it. Ronda Rousey's a UFC Hall of Famer. She stepped in here. She's impressed everybody. But, I mean, I don't think anybody can argue what Book just said. I mean, you that know, was so lit know, up. I'm just keeping it real. I'm just keeping it real. Take nothing away from Ronda Rousey and what she has done uh, over her career. But this right here, this is a totally different animal. An animal that Nia Jax has tamed many, many times. And, and the question but, is, did Ronda, did Ronda jump into it too quickly? It was all nice them shaking hands on the red carpet but tonight it's time to get busy tonight. but Nia challenged her and yep. Ronda accepted it. Oh, yes. all so right guys slow Nia it down for a quick lose. second everybody slow it down I want your predictions we're just about to go off here uh, I'm still gonna go Ronda Ronda can do it okay Ronda's gonna put up a great fight but I'm going with the champ Nia Jax Nia Jax bust the bubble of Ronda Rousey Tonight. Team Nia Jax over here. Ladies and gentlemen, get on over to the WWE Network. Money in the Bank is free to all new subscribers. It is all about to go down. of the generation. But is this rivalry ready? A brutal altercation between Styles and Nakamura. For its next chapter. Last man AJ Styles. Shinsuke Nakamura.